Thank you, Mrs. President. Thank you, uh, Space Club, uh, fellow of Space Club, and honor guests. If you're an Elvis fan, you're gonna love this. I know Mr. Figueroa, why do you love Elvis? If you're, not a, if you're not an Elvis fan, if you don't give a rip about Elvis, you might find this interesting. I heard many years ago, they said that Garth Brook outsold Elvis. They said Nirvana stole it. Uh, he, he outsold Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get the facts right, Selwyn. Before he was 21, he had three number one hits, Billboard charts. Three movies box office hits, all of this before VH1, American Idols, and before U2. <laughs> In 1956, Elvis made his network television debut with the first of his six appearances on stage show. Tommy and Jimmy Dorsey show, Milton Berle show, Steve Allen show, Ed Sullivan show. He made 50 grand, which was at that time more money than any performer had ever paid to appear on a network variety at that time. After he left the army, he appeared on France and Natural Variety programs. He was paid 125000 for that one show, again making history. Elvis starred in 31 feature films. I know he's not, he's not a good actor, but he's the only one that can do it. <laughs> nobody, else, nobody else can do it, but he can. He, um, <clears throat> as an actor, he filmed uh, 31 feature films as an actor, two concert documentary <coughs> films, all of, all of which enjoyed financial success for a number of years. He was one of the Hollywood top box office draws and one of his highest paid actors. One million growth at that time. Again, a very big amount at that time. His movies and video sales and rentals, some of his top selling music came from his movies. Eleven of his movie soundtrack albums went to the top ten, and four of those went to number one. Elvis made three network television specials in 1968. It's called um, uh, Comeback Special. He made I Know I'm From Hawaii. By a Starlight, 1973, and his last uh, live concert, 1977, is among the most highly rated specials of their time. His 1968 special is one of the most acclaimed music specials of all time. His 1973 was seen in 40 countries. 40 countries! Over a billion! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> 1.5 billion people and made television history. It was seen by more American homes. 40 million and 130,000 that man first walk on the moon. Mm -hmm. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> when Elvis made his first debut in Las Vegas, he bombed. He was rejected in Vegas in 1956. <laughs> and then in 1969, Elvis performed his first show after 10 years at the Hilton, International Hilton, to a sold out crowd, and he went on to perform regular engagement at the Hilton for seven years, a total of 837 consecutive sold-out performances in front of 2.5 million people. The sheer numbers from this performance are mind-boggling. In one, in one 29-day period, Elvis entertained 101, 509 guests, bringing in 1.5 million in ticket sales in the course of his 800-plus performances in Vegas. He sold 43.7 million in show tickets about $250,000 in 2011 dollars. One in two visitors to Las Vegas, his show, oh, hold on, sorry. Oh. In one, one in two visitors to Las Vegas saw his show. One out of two? That's almost everybody. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> While doing his Vegas, he was also touring the country at the same time. During his concert years from 69 to 77, Elvis gave nearly 1,100 concert performances. Graceland, man, his mansion is one of the most visited homes in America. Today, 600,000 visitors annually visit Graceland, second only to the White House. It's the most famous house in America. After the White House, in 1991, Graceland Mansion was placed on National Register Historic Places. In 2006, Graceland was designated a National Historic Landmark. In 1992, the U U.S. Postal Service hoo -hoo, <laughs> announced that Elvis image would be used for a com commemorative postal stamp. The Elvis stamp is, 
This stamp is the most widely publicized stamp issued in the history of the U.S. Postal Service. And it's a top-selling commemorative postage stamp of all the USPS printed 500 million. Whoop! <laughs> <laughs> it is estimated that according to Guinness Book of World Records that Elvis Presley's control has sold over 1 million record units worldwide, more than any artist in the world, any group in America. Elvis had 150 different albums and singles that have been certified as gold, platinum, or multi-platinum by the Recording Industry Association of America, with more certification expected as research into his past record sales continues and as current sales go on research, it's also underway to continue to document his record sales achievement in other countries. It is estimated that 40% of Elvis' record sales have been outside the United States and he is known throughout the world by his first name. By the way, after Elvis died, an hour before he died, he sold, RCA sold 500,000 records an hour before he died. That is mind boggling. So this is why Elvis is still the king. <laughs>